Um, this is your first time on the show. We've got we've got a lot of stuff going on in town and, and hoping you can give us some up, updates. And uh, yeah, but first, welcome to the show and thanks for being here. We know you're super busy and thanks for giving us your time today. Same here, David. And I, I appreciate what you do and the others at Cable 10 for these shows to get information out to the public. I don't know what we would do without you guys uh, and ladies right now. It's a valuable service, so we appreciate you very much. So, you know, we want to start off with, with uh, just as the mayor of Frankfurt, uh, what are you doing right now? What, what are your duties during this process? What can you tell the, the citizens of Frankfurt? Uh, a lot of them don't know what, what you do on a day to day. We see you in meetings. And, and so, so what are you doing during, during these crazy times? Well, right now we have two things going. We have, we're ha we have the emergency declaration uh, that we're working under. And then we also have what's called continuity of government operations, which means the regular everyday duties of city government have to continue. So we have that track of information that we have to keep up with. And then all the emergency uh, response issues that we're dealing with with this emergency. So there's two tracks. And, and right now, as, as the mayor for the city, my responsibility is to oversee all the emergency response and all the emergency actions that are being conducted in addition to the continuity of government operations. But, but staff is handling things very well. And anything related to the emergency right now, we're, we're funneling all of that through our emergency operations center with our wonderful folks over there, Tom Russell and Mark Wood and Ray Kinney. Do you see any other uh, potential restrictions coming in town? And, and do you see the, the social distancing uh, you know, regulations that being enforced in town? Right now, most people are complying with our social distancing uh, requirements. Some folks, I don't think, fully understand how to uh, comply with that because uh, I had to run into uh, to Kroger to pick up some things last night, and, and I noticed most people understand about staying six feet away or, or more and, and not being in close contact with folks. But I saw some folks that were continuing to uh, really not – do as well as they needed to. So we want to continue to remind people, even though you may not feel like you have any of the, of the symptoms of, of COVID-19, to understand that a person can be a carrier and spread that without even having any kind of symptoms. So that, that's the thing we have to look out for. It's, it's thinking about others and trying to keep everyone's family and loved ones safe because this disease spreads very easily and the more people are in public and they talk back and forth with each other, that gives more of an opportunity for the disease to be spread through the, through the droplets. You mentioned uh, some partnerships on, on the higher level in government. Talk about a little bit about the local level partnerships that we've seen between the, the Franklin County Health Department, the Frankfort Franklin County Emergency Management Office, and the, the city government and county government that we've been seeing. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're very proud of that partnership that we have with all the partners and right now, because this is a health uh, crisis, uh, Franklin County uh, Public Health is the agency that uh, we are letting take the lead on, on most of the activities that we do because the way we structure our emergency management program, uh, depending on what type of situation it is, we have um, what are called emergency support functions. And right now, this is a public health crisis. So everything that we're doing now is pretty much in support of of what Franklin County Public Health is doing. Uh, and we do, again, uh, work very closely with, with county government. We uh, stay in touch uh, through our emergency management center. We have what's called a joint information center that's activated. So all of us are sharing information on a daily basis as needed. Uh, th this is one of those slow moving type emergencies that uh, makes it a little uh, more challenging because there's times when when nothing's happening and we we sit um, w you know kind of waiting for the for the next thing to to uh, to develop so we do talk back and forth and maintain those relationships that we've had for so many years and one of the things people need to understand too is you know these are things that we have uh, reviewed in our emergency operations plans we do exercise our plan on an annual basis we work with emergency uh, uh, drills with the hospital. So our fire and EMS and police and our hospital are uh, constantly working with each other to, to practice for events such as this. So that, it's great to see that partnership going. Um, 
you know, and, and city government and county government, everybody, they still have to keep going. So uh, I know we have a, a city commission work session scheduled next Monday uh, evening. So right. tell us how that's going to work. Well, we're going to continue to do everything remotely. We may have one or two staff members who will be in our um, physical location for the meeting at our Regs Operations Center. And again, those are not open to the public right now because of, of health concerns and safety concerns. Uh, which really bothers us, especially for me, because I'm a big believer in open meetings and open uh, communication and dialogue with the public. We, we want people to be able to have that access. And, and right now what we're doing is asking people to go to our website, City of Frankfurt website, uh, or our Facebook page, or frankfurtema.org to get information on how to submit questions that can be uh, answered at our city commission meetings. Of course, if people need to email me about any uh, thing that's going on in city government, or if they have ideas that they would like to share, or just ask a question about something, they can they can also do that uh, by uh, sending me an email. We're we're not in our office right now, so people can't really reach us there. But uh, if someone does need to call me about something, I would ask that they just call my home office. It's five zero two 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 seven seven two seven five. Again, that's five zero two. 227-7275 or send me an email at wmay at frankfurt.ky.gov and that again all that information on our uh, email contacts is on our city Facebook page and, and web page. We'll wrap up with asking um, all the essential services for the city are still going um, you know, we've got transit still running police are out there fire sanitation um, the, the plant board is still providing essential services. What would you say to all of those, those employees out there that are keeping those essential services going? Oh, absolutely. Uh, we love all those folks that are doing that. Uh, our plant board folks still have to go out and deal with power outages, uh, other things like that. Our fire and EMS, uh, police, dispatchers, emergency management team are all working around the clock to keep people safe. Our sanitation workers are out picking up uh, all their routes, and that those are all things that uh, people have to have to uh, to maintain a safe and healthy uh, community. And, and the fact that uh, you all are still on the air getting word out to people is very important. I think people are looking for information right now, and there is so much information that's out there. When we can boil it down in, in segments like we're doing today uh, with, with you, I think that's a, a big help. And again, uh, you know, we love all of our workers that are essential to us that are out doing things and all of our folks in the in the grocery stores that are stocking shelves and in our pharmacies and, and those places that are essential. Um, you know, our hardware stores keeping things open because people have some, you know, necessary repairs when a, a water faucet breaks or a, a, something like that. You know, they, they have to, to be there. So those folks are also taking a big risk. And we want to thank those folks for being out there, too. All right. Thank you, Mayor May, for being on the show today and giving us that update and helping us provide that essential information to the community. We really appreciate it. Thank you, too. And I hope that you all stay safe. And remember, everybody, we're safer at home.